Hi, welcome to our show, Karate New. I'm your host, Master Art Bynes. Before we begin today's program, I'd like to explain a little bit about our show. As you know, Karate New wasn't designed specifically just to promote United States Black Hat Kempo Karate, but to promote all styles of, United, of karate. So we all unite in a common cause <laughs> to help improve our country and help make it a happier, healthier, safer place in which to live. Today's show, we're going to be doing some <laughs> advanced techniques. <laughs> So, without any further ado, turn on your VCRs and we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Karate and You. I'm here with the Sasquatch guys today. Uh, take, this, like, take this opportunity to introduce my uh, assistant on today's show, one of our instructors at the our Academy in uh, Hal Township, Sensei Eddie Anderson, who's 17 years old. You've seen him on our show many, many times. He started out with me, I guess, maybe uh, 12 years ago. Yes, sir. Woo! Man, you don't look that old. This gentleman over to my left, Mr. Adam Hansen. Adam is also 17, and uh, Adam's one of the bigger fellas in our school. So today I'm going to have the pleasure of whooping their butts. Rush! Rush! Oh, I got the power here. Okay, what we're going to do on today's show is we're going to cover a couple of uh, kicks. We'll go from some real basic ones just to do a little warm-up, and then we're going to get into the more intermediate and more advanced kicks for you, so I'm sure you're going to find today's show quite interesting. Uh, Sensei, can you get that shield over there? Sure. <clears throat> and hold the shield for me. Right there, Adam, just jump over on the right. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that everybody understands a proper approach to the target when you're throwing a kick. All right, A lot of people don't understand that there's more to, uh, to making an approach than just getting there. You have to make sure that you uh, move your feet in a proper position. From here, if I'm going to throw a side kick and I have to bridge the gap between the target and my foot, I have to cross over to get closer to the target. So from here what I do is I cross over to the rear. When I cross over to the rear, I take my foot and I point the heel of my foot towards the target. Now I'll do the kick fast and then I'll break it down a little. You got to move back just a hair. That's it. There you go. So from here I cross over and I cross over. I kick. Again from here, cross over. Notice also that my hands don't move all over the place. They don't fly all over the place. And what I want to do here is I want to keep my foot, my knee, my hip, my whole body in alignment. So when I hit the target, I don't hit with my foot. I actually hit with my whole body, all right? I make contact with my foot. I want to hit with my body, make contact with my foot, and that's going to be uh, real good because it will generate more power, all right? So from here, what I do is I cross over. When I cross over, my heel faces the target. I pick my knee up in the chamber, and I execute the kick. Keeping my defense up all the time. Again, from here, cross over. My knee comes up. Up, out, back, and down. All right, now, one more time. Crossing over to the rear on a side kick. Defense is up. I want to hit the target with my body, make contact with my foot. Cross over. I focus my mind and my body, and I give 110% from here. <laughs> Defense. Okay. Hop in there, Adam. <clears throat> You're righty or lefty? Righty, sir. Lucky for you. Okay. Let's get you in position here, boss. All right. What size foot is that? 16. 16? <laughs> Ooh, you in big trouble, buddy. Okay, here we go. Six to, look at this thing, man. I get a 12. My goodness, I'll tell you what. I can put two of my foot in his shoe. I can go down the river in that thing. Okay, ready? Here we go. Cross over side kick, go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice. Now, you're a little too close. Get a little more distance here. One of the things you want to be conscious of is when you make the contact point, your limb, whether it be your arm or your leg on a point on a target, wants to be about three quarters of the way out. One quarter left is your follow through. So if you come in there and you're too close, you get jammed up, you can't extend your leg, you're not going to get any power into it, Adam. Nice. All right, so I want you to zip right through. Now, another thing I want you to do, use your mind and visualize your foot going through here, out the back of Sensei Henderson's gi, and shish kebabbing him, screwing him like a shish kebab. Ready? Hup. Oh, man, I tell you, that's nice. And keep your hands up. Don't drop your hands. Ready? Hup. Excellent. Another one. Try turning your heel a little bit more towards the target. Get your heel in there. Ready? Hip. Oh, that's nice. Another one. Hip. Beautiful. Last one. Now, if you can knock him into that wall, all right, he'll take us out for a lobster dinner tonight. Counting on you, my friend. Hip. Okay, not bad. Pass that over to my big guy over here. 
All right. You're a righty or a lefty? Righty. Too bad. You're going to kick with your left foot. Yes, sir. All right. Now, Sensei Anderson here, we're giving him a handicap because he's really a righty. We're going to make him kick with his left foot, though, so you people at home get a better visual of what's going on. And that big target right there. And he's trying to push. This is 205 pounds of pure, massive muscle. <laughs> uh, American boy, girls. There he is right there holding that shield. OK, here we go. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Oof, that's nice. Yep. Yeah. Good. Now, let's get a little more acceleration on that, Sensei. Sure. I give you the command. I want you to shoot out of here like a Scud missile. Oh, yeah. oh man, that one made me vomit. All right, move back just a little bit. Yeah, I got seasick with that. Move in a little bit, Adam. Here we go, Ed. Now, the mind. I forgot who I was talking to. OK, the body and the mind. Ready? Here sure. we go. Up. Ooh, nice. I'll tell you, you're going to have to buy me a new shield after this show. <laughs> Help. Beautiful. One more time. Help. Excellent. Okay, now, again, you people at home, just make note here. When Ed's making his approach, he's crossing over to the rear. Go ahead, Ed, nice and slow. And turn your heel a little more. That's it. He wants his heel to be facing the target. So the heel of his foot, of his approaching leg, wants to be facing the target. He picks his knee up and executes the kick. Go ahead. Bang. And you want to make contact point around three quarters of the way out. Very good. Okay, give that shield back to him if you would. Thank you, sir. All right, nice. Now, we're going to do a roundhouse kick, roundhouse kick. Okay, give him the shield. Sir. No, give him the, no, okay. Hold that up there, and you're going to have to hold yourself on an angle a little bit. Now, we do a roundhouse kick, and if I'm going to do a roundhouse kick with my right leg or my rear leg, I have to cover some distance. I have one of two ways of approaching. One way is to cross over to the front and pop it in there. The other way is to take a giant step with my lead leg and get some momentum. Now, what I want to do with a roundhouse kick is I want to kick with the shin and the instep of my foot. And I'm going to have to turn you a little more. That's it. And my target area is really going to be, if Adam was facing me, his rib cage area. From here, what I do is I push off on my rear leg. I take a little step. And I get my momentum going forward, so my hip gets pulled. I pull my hip forward. My right leg comes up in this position from here. This is the trajectory of the kick right from here. And I pivot around on my supporting leg, so my foot actually turns around and faces him. My heel's going to face him. And I turn my whole body into the kick. All right, I'll move over just a little bit that way. I come right around here. Nice roundhouse kick from here. Watch your knuckles there, because I don't want to hurt my foot. I don't care about your hand. It's my foot I'm worried about. Then I keep my defense up also from here. Yeah! Again, from here, I take a little step, slide in, throw my hip. Again, hip, drive. I faked you out. Hip and drive. From here, I step in and keep my defense up at all times. Notice my hands do not drop. Step, push. I weigh 190 pounds. Boom. Drive. Pow. Whoo. Got you again. All right, now watch me from here. I step and pop that hip right to the ribs, and my hands never drop at all. And around. OK, I jump in there. Yes, sir. OK. Just get a little smooth movement there, Ed. Let's see what you got. Step and just pull your hip. Yeah, that's not good. I want you to step and pull your hip. Look. Sir. They had a, a, a dance years ago. <laughs> we want the bump. Hey, <laughs> gotta have that bump. OK, here we go. Ready? Hip. All right, come on, put more hip into it. 205. Sir. Ooh, the big man here. You can blow that thing up like dynamite. Go, hip. OK, move back a little bit. There you go. Now I want you to blast them, sir. Sir. All right, ready? Hip. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, and watch that hand. You just hit me in the you know what. Yes, sir. Keep those dukes up. Up. Yeah. Nice. Turn that hip a little bit more. Pivot on that supporting leg. Up. Yeah. Ooh, man, I'm telling you, his head's flipping back like a Pez dispenser. Up. Yeah. Nice. Now, notice what Ed's doing here. He's taking a little step. He wants to get momentum. This roundhouse kick is one powerful kick. I'm telling you, I don't care if your hands are down there blocking it or anything. When I used to fight full contact, I get hit many times with roundhouse kick. Hit me in the arm. That just wears you down. Wears you down. Takes the tar right out of you. All right, here we go. Pop that hip. Sir. I want 205 pounds of massive. Wild. <laughs> man, hitting that thing. Go, hip. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm telling you, I'm pitiful. Hip. 
Very nice. A lot of power there. A lot of power. Body mechanics are the key in your martial arts training. Even though we're working with two really big guys here, all right. If you're a young person out there, a small-framed individual, you maybe only weigh 110 pounds. You get up against a guy this size, you still have a good chance. The thing you have to do is you have to remember that you have to incorporate your body weight into the technique. If you weigh 110 pounds, when you hit one of these big Joe Palookas, you got to hit him with 110 pounds, plus your body mechanics. And that's going to increase your power. And the thing is, what's going to happen is not the size of the fighter, it's the size of the fight in the fighter. And that's the only way you're going to have a chance against one of these big guys. All right, here we go again. Move, move forward. Will you throw me back into this sign over here? I don't want to destroy my sign. Help! Man, last one because I lied. Help! Beautiful. Okay, you want to give that to my friend? Yes, sir. And you're a righty? Yes, sir. All right, we want to get you into the camera. So switch your positions real quick. We'll let you have the option of that right leg. Okay, now all I want you to do, uh, hold that a little more sideways there, pal. Sir. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> From here, all I want you to do is take a little step and push your hip. Go ahead. That's good. More, you're moving more shoulder. I want, there's two axes of the body. We've got our hips and our shoulders. I want the hip to lead. The hip to lead and the shoulder follow. All right, this is the largest muscle group in, the, in, our, in our body, the strongest muscle group in our body. So we want to make sure we incorporate those hips in there. All right, just a step and let me see you move. Go. Good. Take a little more step and push. Go. Yeah, not too much hip. No, shoulder. More hip. Look. Boom. Pow. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Pull the hip again. Go. That's it. Drive off on the ball of your foot. Do it again. Hey, mamma mia. Here we go. All right. Right in there. Zip right through him. Like a hot knife through butter there, big guy. Hip. Very good. Try not to let your hands fly. All right, because they weigh something. Okay, and you're throwing in one way, that means body weight's going one way and body weight's going another. You want to concentrate it all in. So when you hit, turn your right shoulder at the same time and thrust your body forward so your 205 pounds blast into this thing. Hip. Ooh, nice. Keep the elbows in. Another one. Hip. There you go. Hip. Nice. Again, move back just a little bit, Adam. I want you to work a little bit. Hip. Man, another one. I hope you people at home can hear this. I'm telling you, if you were here in person, it's like thunder in here. The ceiling tiles are moving all over the place. There's all kinds of debris falling down on the heads. And it's like an earthquake. All right, here we go. Ready? Hip. Nice. Another one, big guy. Hip. That's it. Last one. Last one. Throw that hip. Throw that shoulder. Beautiful. OK, shake out the leg. You guys switch your position. All right, nice. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to throw a spinning rear kick. Give him the bag there. I don't think this bag's going to make it all through the show. <laughs> all right, we do a spinning rear kick. Now, one of the things I want to be conscious of is that you have to understand in all your kicks, you have to pivot on the balls of your feet. All right, balls of your feet. Chubby Checker was a great martial artist. No one knew that. Okay. Okay. We're going to now do a spinning rear kick. And from this position, what I do is I step and I pivot. As I'm stepping and I'm pivoting, my right leg is pushing my hip forward. So I want to pull my hip around and whip my leg into the target. So from here, I step and I have to look over my shoulder and I kick. Back to my original position. Again from here, I step with my left leg and I'm pushing with my right. I step and I push and I kick. Recoil. Back to my original position. Notice my defense. Real important that you understand we do not drop our hands because you pick up a bad habit. You miss that guy, he slides off to the side and pow, pow, pow. That's it. So from here, we're in position. I'm out here moving around. I'm going to throw a spinning rear kick on this guy. Okay, here we go. Yeah, from here, I step with my heel. I push. Step, push, kick, and back to my original position. Moving a little closer. One more time. I just pretend, see, that this is something that I'm really not happy about in my life. All right? I'd like to tell you the story, but I don't have all night. All right, now, here I go. There he is. I step. I look. OK, jump in there. Let's Set. do it. Let's. Right. Now, Ed's going to step with his left heel. And Ed is going to try and turn that foot around. Go. He looks over his right shoulder. He picks up his right leg, and he kicks. Ooh, man, come on back here. Man, you got a 
crazy effect on people when you kick them. Yeah. Now, all I want you to do is I want you to step and push your hip with your right leg. Yes. Good. Nothing else. Go. No, back again. Almost. Watch me. You step, push. Step, push. Go. Step, push. All right. Just the hip. Just the hip. Drive. Go. Ah. Again. Go. There you go. So that that leg in the, is going to get whipped around by your hips. Sir. All right. Now we're going to do a spinning rear kick. Spinning rear kick. Target out of you is this big square. Sir. Not that big square. Oh, sorry. Push. <laughs> okay. Push. Here we go. Ready? Oh. Ah! Oof, man. What did they put in this thing? What the stuff flying all over. Sir. Like popcorn. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Can you hold on to that? Are you you all right? Yes, sir. Because if you're not, you know, I'm not going to hold it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Move it a little closer. That's it. Ed, try focusing more into the center of the target. Sir. All right, because you're deflecting off to the side and you're turning him. We don't want to do that. We want everything you got, your mind, your body, your being, to come spinning around. Foot going out. Sir. Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, bad to the bone. I know a couple girls like that. Hup. Ah, very good. Oof. Ready? Hup. Ah. Excellent. One more time, my friend. To the moon. To the moon, baby. Hup. Ah. Excellent. Nice work, Eddie. Okay, good job. Want to pass that over there? All right. <clears throat> now, it's real important that you understand when you're throwing these kicks, you have a good shield target. Right? It costs a little bit of money, but the investment is well worth it because you inevitably develop strong, powerful kicks. Now, when you're working with the target, you want to make sure that you do not just turn this way just a little bit, Ed. You don't go off into the corner here because you can deflect off in the corner and you can come up and the end result is an injury. We don't want any injuries. We want to avoid all that. So my target's this particular one has a square in it, and you kind of focus your eyes right here, your vision right in there, and that's your target. A lot of other targets have a little dot. So it's real good that you have that. If you don't have it, the dot or a square, put one on there with some tape. <coughs> now, we're having a lot of fun doing this, but you also got to understand that when you're, you're training, you got to be very, very serious. All right? I, like to, I like to have some fun when I'm, when I'm teaching because it makes it interesting, and it, you know, I like to develop a good rapport with my students. But you got to make sure that you're real conscientious, and remember that above everything else, safety is number one priority. So when you're working with each other, you work together. Okay, now let's just see you step out there and look over your shoulder. Go ahead. Good. Back again. Now, you're, tr you're looking, but you're not moving your hips. You're, everything's up here. You got to get your rear end moving. Okay, you got to move that rear end. Okay, step out there and look. Turn your hips. Ah, yes, you can see it, right? Yes, sir. You can see it like a mule. All right, step and look. There you go again. Ready? Step and look. That's it, Adam. Okay, now. Uh, you're a lefty? No, but this is my bad leg. Oh, that's your bad leg? So this is the way that you're going to you kick. Okay, yes, good. All right, ready? And keep your eyes open. Don't close your eyes when you look this way. Yes. Maybe you should. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Hup. Nice. Now, try not to drop your leg. See, a lot of what, what happens with a lot of people, and you people make a mental note of this, they're kicking, and after they execute the kick, they drop their leg, and they think it's over. I kick out here no matter what I'm doing, what kind of kick, whoops, sorry, Ed, no matter what kind of kick I'm doing, I always keep my hands up and I always recoil that leg. So if I'm throwing a spinning rear kick, I'm in here, throw a spinning rear kick, I keep my leg up just in case I have to kick, do something exciting to this guy. Watch the banana peel. Okay, good, back up. All right, here we go. Spinning rear kick. Don't drop those hands and after you kick, try and keep it up and try and turn 360 degrees. You dropped it. See, every action is a reaction. You want to control the reaction. All right, place it where you want it. Mmm, we're looking good here. Yeah, mmm, yeah. Yep. Don't drop that leg. I'm going to put tax on the floor here. I'm get Rin Tin Tin to do his thing. Ready? Yep. Nice, beautiful, very good, very good. And all it is just being conscious, being conscious of your movement. After you do this maybe 50, 60, 100, 200 times, you develop muscle memory. You don't have to think about it anymore. Your body automatically does its thing. Ready? Hip. 
Oh. We didn't get up to 50 yet, I guess. Ready? Come on, hit him. Nice. One more time. Hip. There, don't drop it. Let's do it again. I'm telling you. Excellent. Okay, shake out the legs. Shake out the legs. Let me have my shield here. There. The shield's about, I'd say, a good 15 years old, this thing, believe it or not. This was one of the best investments I ever made. Matter of fact, you used to have a cable that used to run out. And you'd have a little, a little uh, contraption on the side that you'd put on Velcro in your hand. It would give you a readout of uh, uh, pressure per square inch. Remember that? Yes, sir. What happened to that thing? You guys use them. <laughs> no one puts the stuff back. I tell you guys, you're driving me nuts. OK, here we go. Hold that again. All right, Ed's going to demonstrate his famous 360 full gainer half twist and uh, can opener shot here. OK? Can you step in or not? Yeah, you can step in on this. Yes, sir. All right, you got this, baby? Yes, sir. All right, don't drop it. All right, ready? Go ahead, sir. Ooh, now, Ed is known for this kick. If you've ever seen any of our karate demonstrations, the last time Ed did this board breaking, I believe it was six boards? Six boards. Six boards. And this is, I'm not giving you a, a fish story here. Six boards, one inch thick. All right, that's six inches of pine that this guy jumps up, spins around, and goes through. And I have yet to see anybody do that. I don't care who you are, where you are, what country you're from, what belt you are, pink, green, chartreuse, it don't matter. I haven't <laughs> seen anybody do it, except this guy here, 17-year-old, Thunderman. OK, here we go. Ready? Hup. Ooh, man. OK, watch it there. Holy Ooh. cow, we got a fish out of water here. I got you. There you go. Man, you are so good, your guts are coming out. All right, now, Ed, I, what I want you to do this time is I want you to kind of slow down a little bit so that people can actually see what's going on. Now, Ed's not getting really up high in the air. What he's doing is he's gaining distance. And the way he gains distance is just by a little jump, pushing off on his rear leg, and that makes his body, his momentum of his body just go up in the air, and he's got to turn around. Now, watch what he does. He makes his approach. He comes up in the air. Go ahead. And spins. The first leg gets his momentum going, almost like a discus thrower. His hips are rotating at a tremendous amount of speed, velocity. He jumps up off the ground and spins. Go. Beautiful. Now, in order to get up off the ground, he's got to take his kicking leg and he's got to cock it up into his body. I'll tell you what we do. Let's switch our position real quick here so you can, they can see a different angle from you. <coughs> this, this kick is Ed's big baby here. I'll tell you, I pitted a fool that messes with Ed one night, you know. Calls him some strange name or something. And Ed got a little room there. And he starts doing his move. OK. Now, he's going to go up. He's going to step. And he's going to go up in the air, spin around. Watch his kicking leg. Hip. Ooh. Need any help with that? <laughs> huh? Too bad. OK. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Hip. Ooh, that's nice. All right. Now, let's dissect this thing so you people at home can Maybe try this, and if you're going to try this, make sure you have a designated area. No furniture around. Don't try it in the kitchen on the linoleum with your socks on, particularly, OK? Or the end result is there's going to be milk all over the place, and somebody's going to be very angry with you, especially the lady of the house. Now, from here, he steps with his left leg. He spins. He keeps the momentum going. He jumps up in the air. He cocks his leg, and that right leg is going to go out there and kick straight back. Go ahead, big guy. Ooh, that's beautiful. All right? Now, let's just take it right up to here. From here, this is like doing a 180. Okay, He jumps up in the air and go. Yeah. Ooh, man. Now, when you're in this position, you're doing your 180 from here, there's no momentum. So what he's doing, he's stepping in, and he's getting his body weight going. And I'm telling you, he could run right through a fence with this thing. So from here, what he's doing, he's, as he's stepping in, he's stepping here. He comes up, legs come up, and he kicks. And those hands never drop the ground. Okay, Here we go, right up in there, Ed. Let him have it. Hip. Ooh, one more, because that's about all the time we got. Ed, if you knock him into that wall, Big Adam buys us lobster dinner. I'm hungry. Lobster dinner. I'm hungry. All right, Ed, I'm starving. All right. All right, here we go. Let's Last go. one, go. Yes! Ooh, very oh. close. That's about all the time we have. We'll be right back after this message. Good job. Yes, sir. Good. Good. If you're interested in learning more about our show, Karate and You, please contact Grandmaster Art Bynes at Karate and You at TooGoodTV.com. Art Bynes, Karate and You, dedicated to your achievement. 
And uh, Ed, thanks for being on the show again. Thank you, sir. I always have a great time with you. No problem. I was really tired before the show, and boy, am I exhausted now. <laughs> all right. And you too, my friend. Anybody want to say hello to it? Big guy? Uh, I want to say hi to my parents and all my friends at school. You have friends? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought so. All right. Uh, at this time, Ed has a little something he wants to close the show with. Hey. Hit it. Karate is cool. Karate is neat. That's why we kick with power in our feet. Safety is the most important rule that we observe in our school. We learn much more to how to kick and punch and get a real nice feeling that you're one of the bunch. So don't be shy. Give it a try. When you become a black belt, you'll know why. You'll be quick as a black cat and smooth as can be. Take my advice and join Master Art Bynes Karate. Super Center. Thank you very much. This is Master Art Bynes, Sensei Eddie Anderson, funny guy, and Adam Hansen. Thank you for inviting us into your home. Remember that the biggest obstacle in life is yourself. Overcome it, and you will achieve the greatest accomplishment of all. This can only be achieved, however, through a balanced education that pertains to knowledge of the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength, strength in the, the body. body. Thank you. Have a happy, healthy, and safe week. Okay, guys, let's get out of here. Grab that shield real quick, and let's do a couple of these good things here. All right. Let's do that zero, zero, zero. Go. Time bomb. Oh, man, that is devastating. Again. Hip. Yeah. Beautiful. Another one. Hip. Yeah. All right. Give that thing to Ed there, big guy. Let's get a crossover kick here. Nice crossover side kick. Next week. Put him into next week's show, will you? Go. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Couple more like that. Go. Excellent. A little bit higher. A little higher. I want you to fold him. You know what I mean? Fold him like a sandwich. Hip. Ooh, nice. One more time, Adam. Put it right through. Go ahead. Hip. Last one because I lie. Ready? Hip. Very good. Now, let's do a roundhouse kick. Switch that position if you would. All right. Ready? Set. Hip. Good. Again. Hip. Nice. Keep the defense up. Hip. Beautiful. More hip in there. More hip. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip. Go for it. Don't drop those hands, big guy. Keep those hands up. Hip. Nice. One more time. Hip. Fantastic. Nice job. Nice job. Good work. 